Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, to Has Paws and Claws, and in today's video, we will be talking about my hamster. She's not very new, I've had her for like two months now, but I just wanted to adjust to her, learn more about her, and then make a video about her. So I went ahead and actually got her out of her enclosure, and just look at how adorable she is. <laughs> She is the absolute cutest thing ever. She has the biggest sleepy head. Like, she's the biggest sleepy head. Just look at this sleepy face. Like, she's just a mess when she first wakes up. It is the cutest thing ever. She just does not know what's going on. So, um, like many of you know, if you have a hamster, hamsters are nocturnal. So, when I interact with her or try to do anything in her enclosure or anything like that, I always try to do it later later at night just so um I don't like really <laughs> bother her too much I mean I do bother her regardless she does not like it but um I try to not bother her too much so in today's video we will go ahead and rearrange her enclosure uh, as well as I got her a couple of new things I just don't really like the way that I set up her enclosure um she has about she actually used to have like nine inches of bedding didn't really see it really like benefiting her um, in a sense where I had all of it have the same um, height of bedding. So in this video, I reduced a little bit of the bedding when I cleaned out 25% of it just because you're not supposed to clean out all of the enclosure um, because that does stress them out. You wanna make sure that they still have their scent in their enclosure so they're not stressed out. But um, in this video, I want to try to do one side with more bedding and the other with less bedding. So let's go ahead and try to do that with Clementine today. Oh, she's so adorable. Look at her. <laughs> oh my gosh. And try to link all the items that I possibly can in the description box. So if you find anything that you're interested in in this enclosure, I will try to link it. Um, I also wanted to mention her enclosure. It's definitely bigger than 40, like it's 40 or bigger, I should say, just because it's like a, a weird shape. Like it's the same shape of my other 40 for my leopard gecko. Um, however, it's kind of like longer in a sense. So um, it's 40 or bigger and that is what you should have for a hamster. They should not be staying in a small cage whatsoever. So go ahead and get started with this video. to put down food for her as well um i do use um different types of food so i will also be able to link those down below for you and just a little bit of mealworms um i also went ahead and used this bedding this is what i add in her enclosure um with that i also sprinkle some um orchard grass hay um to help her just like nest better all right you guys so this is what her enclosure looks like now um we do have her wheel we have a tunnel we have these two bridges we have two hides actually more like three hides for um she loves it high like this we do have about over eight inches in here now this is her sand bath for some reason she loves putting bedding in there so i don't really like taking it out i just let her do what she wants to do 
that like you could see I sprinkled the orchard hay um she has some chew toys I will add a couple of more actually um and I also wanted to point out um I kind of refreshed a little bit added some more bedding so let's go ahead and get her right back in here like I mentioned I got her a couple more toys I got her these two toys today um this is the full cheeks willow woven bowl chew and of course I'll take the plastic off and this one is the oxbow uh, color plate dangle it for today's video you can see clementine right here exploring in her new enclosure setup so if you like this video please go ahead and hit that like button down below and if you're not subscribed yet you can go ahead and hit that red button for more animal related videos Ooh. Ooh.